All right, so in this video, we're gonna show you how to check your piston uh, protrusion, okay? So come on over here. So they're saying they want, for piston projection measurement, they want 69 thousandths of an inch to 72 thousandths of an inch. And I found this kind of confusing until I read the manual, and it didn't really seem like a lot of people had a lot of stuff to say, so. They want 69, 72, and how you dictate that is the gasket size. You get an OEM gasket size, they're gonna come with a bunch of different gaskets. Now each gasket is one millimeter, which is almost four thousandths of an inch. So in this case, we just had a, by the looking at the dots of the gasket, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, I believe it's seven millimeter gasket, that's what it is, yeah. And every millimeter is 4,000. So I, I convert it to inches because I like to do inches. So I did, that gasket got me to 76. So I did 76 minus almost 4,000, which is well, 3,009 3, tenths. And then that got me right to 0 0.072, I mean 71, anyways. So this is how you do this. So pretend I'm zeroing this in first. You come down here, get yourself on a nice flat surface, and you want to zero your gauge in right there. So we're at number three on the rotation because it's going to do multiple rotations. So we're at three, and then I zeroed my gauge in. And so we put it up on the cylinder, and you want to be on the PTO side of the cylinder. Now make sure you get it nice and centered with the PTO piston. And then we're going to bring it up to where it was the dial here was at three and then also zero. Now that means right now the top of the piston is flush with the deck of the cylinder. So now we're gonna see how far it goes up past that. So we're gonna do one whole revolution, which is 50 thou. And then we're gonna keep going, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72. So we're at 72 thousands. That's where the gauge turns around. And that is how you check piston protrusion.